here, and I have a very special reading for twin flames out there um, who may be wondering what's going on in their union, and just a really um, good nine card reading that I'm about to do for you. If you like this reading and you want one that is specific to you and your union, you can click the link below to go to my website and purchase your own um, personal nine card reading from me. My twin flame Josh also does readings. Um, he offers Thoth readings from the Thoth Tarot deck. His are very unique and special, um, so I would really encourage you to book with him for a Divine Masculine perspective. Um, but I really just felt compelled to um, share this message of, of love and union with you today through these cards. And uh, we've got the Spirit Animal Oracle um, I'm going to be using by Colette Barry reed the Lover's Oracle by Tony um, Slaterno. I think I pronounced that correctly. And the Wisdom of the Oracle, also by Colette Baron reed I really love the back of those cards. I think they're, they're beautiful. Um, so the first three cards um, I'm going to be pulling are about your, your union, the current energy. It's like um, the things that you need to heal. The next three cards I'll pull are going to be about, um, you know, how to heal that, like what you need to focus on in terms of your healing. And the last three cards are going to be the divine message that's coming through um, that, you know, just extending the guidance and really showing you what you need to do and to to feel and to really integrate to keep this healing that you're receiving through these cards today. So the cool thing about um, the Lover's Oracle is that they're heart, they're heart-shaped cards. And so I'm going to just spread those out instead of um, shuffling them. I'll shuffle the other decks. But I like to spread them out and then just use my left hand, which is connected with intuition, to pull with my eyes closed there. I'm just going to spread them a little bit more. I love the artwork on them. There's a message from your twin flame on the back of these cards. You may have seen them in other YouTube channels. Okay. Getting them all ready. Okay. First deck is the animal, the spirit animal oracle deck. So what energy are you facing in your union? What blocks may you be facing right now? Okay. Let's see. We've got squirrel spirit. Believe in yourself. So this indicates, um, because we're asking the divine to help us with the blocks, it indicates that you have a lack of belief in the divine or yourself. Remember that you are a, a divine being. You're not separate from God. So you might not be having much faith right now in yourself. Let's pull this card and see what's, what's really happening. You, you may not trust love. You may feel that you're doomed. You may think that your twin flame doesn't love you and that it'll never work. You can't see out of it. That's okay. That's what you're facing right now. Let's see what else. To be fair, there's like an inequality here. You may feel like You've been working really hard and they're not holding up, right? Or you've been doing all the work and it looks like nothing's happening. It's not fair. So there's like this like really doom and gloom feeling going on. But don't worry because we're only on the first part of the reading. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen next um, and how you, how you can heal this, right? So if you're dealing with your twin flame, your twin flame is you, right? You share the same soul blueprint. You were designed in the same instant by the by God, by the divine, um, and so whatever you're experiencing in your heart is going to be reflected back to you. So these are actually, you believe on the outside that it's like the outside is causing you to feel this way. But the truth is it's based on what you're choosing to believe and what you're, you're doing right now. It's nothing to do with the outside making you feel this way, the outside is simply reflecting what you're choosing to believe first, the fears and doubts you have. I'm going to help you heal this. Let's just really clarify like what the message from your twin flame is. I'm going to close my eyes here. I think something down here. Okay, my eyes are closed. It's harder to pull. All right, we've got... Cool. Yep, this does indicate the energy going on right now with you. There we go. What was that? There. It is important to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. Yes, this is going to start charging us up on the healing that I'm about to share with you. So 
when I was mentioning that these two energies that you're working with right now are you're you're feeling um, not so good in your heart because you believe that the external is causing you to feel bad, how to resolve that, right? You do something called the mirror exercise, especially if you are aware that you're on your twin flame journey. Everyone is, but only a few of you are really aware of it right now. Just FYI, everyone has a twin flame. So if you're aware that you're on a twin flame journey, the best thing for you to do is learn the mirror exercise because when you're around your twin flame, they're going to trigger the F out of you. They're going to show you all the places inside of you that are out of alignment with love. They will also reflect back the parts of you that are in alignment with love, okay? So it's not just like they're here to stir up trouble. <laughs> they're, they're not. They're actually loving you greatly every time they show you a part of yourself that needs love because here's how you're going to heal it. Giving to yourself, using the mirror exercise, step one, two, three, and four. All right, step one, you state you're upset. I'm upset at my twin because, here's a common one, because they are rejecting me in some way. Step two, you take your upset, whatever it is, whatever you've gotten clear about or whatever you're upset about that they did, or even it could be someone who's not your twin, um, who's like a sister, brother, coworker, or whatever someone's doing that's making you feel upset or triggering you. Do a step one there. Step two is you take all the nouns in that sentence and turn them into pronouns and point them at yourself. I'm upset at myself because I reject myself. Step three is you ask yourself, is this true? And the answer is always yes. So you go in and you find out where in your psyche, in your consciousness, you are rejecting yourself. And you may discover Maybe you're rejecting your finances, looking at your finances. Maybe you're rejecting your divine guidance. Maybe you're rejecting your creativity, your sensuality, your sexuality. You're um, giving yourself pleasure. Maybe you're rejecting your how you look. Like every time you look in a mirror, there's so many different places that you could be rejecting yourself that your twin flame can be mirroring to you, right? Step four is the most important part. Now, don't get stuck trying to figure out what the mirror is, right? That's just a part of it. The most important part is step four. It's related to this card. Give yourself all the love you need. That part of you that feels rejected, what do you need? And you can give that to yourself. So you might say to that part, hey, part of me that rejects myself, like what, what do you need to feel loved? Well, I need to know that I'm beautiful. Like if it's the part of you that doesn't like how you look, I need to know that my body is perfect just the way it is, and I give myself that truth. I let myself have that divine truth, and I stop abusing myself in that place, because that's abusive, right? To tell yourself that you're not perfect just how you are. It doesn't matter if you're, like, you know, overweight and, oh, you need to lose a few pounds. So what? You're still beautiful and perfect. You still deserve pleasure and love completely. You don't need to withhold it from yourself. So give yourself all the love you need in that place. Good, let's go on to the next group of cards and I will continue to um, talk about the mirror exercise through this reading and kind of help you there. So next set of cards is what, what does the divine want you to focus on in your healing work? How to heal through some of these real stuck, really not so good feeling energies that you're experiencing right now. Okay. Shuffling, shuffling. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a song in my head. Here we go. Um, good. Higher power. And dumb spirit, be peace. This, this is, can't be clearer, right? Like, go to God. Go to your higher power. Go to what you call the divine, your angels. Um, bring peace into your heart. Bring that truth that you are not separate from the divine. All of this, all these bad feelings are caused by you feeling like you're not a divine being and that you're not created by God and that God isn't with you and that God isn't accompanying you on this journey and that God isn't supporting you here, that God's just like watching you um, fail. That is not true. Those are all illusions. Those are all invented beliefs by ego to make you feel separate from God, that you're not a divine being and that you don't deserve love. So choose your higher power choose choose to bring the peace into your heart there this is this is your healing work this is what you can do in a step four i'm gonna um, pull a message from your twin flame let's go to th with this one mm, juicy image woohoo yeah trust 
well, this is a very good trio here, transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. So just accept it and trust, right? Like if everything looks like, like a big, you know, mud heap <laughs> right now, like that's okay. You bring this truth of, of your divinity into your heart and trust that, you know, you can just say like, okay, it looks like a whirlwind outside or it looks really messy or it doesn't look so good right now. You go into your feelings and give yourself love and then trust that from this place, you're going to walk forward, but only once you surrender into what's going on right now. Okay. Let's see what the divine would like to extend to you and or the result of your healing. I, I like this part a lot. It's just, it's just like you get to receive more, right? You get to receive more love. Oh, that was a little too much. <laughs> There's like four cards there. Two, I pulled both of them. One, oh, well, speaking of two, two came out, okay? It says, time to go and to the sea. <laughs> I love God sometimes. I call him God. Um, you can call him the divine, the creator. The word God, I just, you know, it's synonymous with the word love. And um, it's all that ever is true. And, and it's an alive, conscious being that I'm a part of. I love that. Time to go and to the sea. I like that. Um, that's really indicating, you know, you might want to go to a physical beach retreat. But, but what it's really saying is, really treat yourself to a really sumptuous, juicy inner experience. The sea represents like emotion, right? The depth of your soul, like going into your heart, into your feeling space and really diving all the way into that vastness, right? You can go to the real, to the, the, the physical ocean and have that symbol of the water, that, the large stretch of blue in front of you that symbol can help you to meditate and but this is really telling you to go into your heart take a deep dive into your heart and then it's really cool really um a vast space let's see what card swan well i just love how synchronistic god is swan spirit time for a deep dive <laughs> that's what we were saying time to go deep into your feelings and i would love to help you do that um i am a master certified ascension coach trained by jeff and Shalia's twin flames universe ascension coach training program and i've um i've had over 600 hours of experience just with twin flame coaching i am in harmonious union with my twin flame josh based on this work that i'm really infusing into these cards and giving to you here it's the inner work that my teachers teach and you can learn this inner work uh, they have twin flame ascension school that i attended um, and I still, I still watch classes and learn more after each time I watch. And there's also a book that's maybe more accessible to you right now. It's on Amazon. It's called Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover. And it will um, give you all the steps that you need to come into harmony and to go into these deeper feelings that, you know, you've kind of just touched the surface of them so far. But it's really time to go in for a deep dive into your heart and really heal those places that have been with you your whole life. Let's see what your twin flame wants to tell you. Mm -hmm. Feeling something right over here. Mm -hmm. That one. Cool. I like that picture. That's a really positive picture there. Heart in a tree. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. That's just taking you a little deeper from where we were a couple cards ago. This is what your twin flame wants you to know. Like you have everything. When you may be afraid that if you let yourself be happy and joyful now that they're gonna leave, they're not. When you go deeper, you let yourself have all the love you need, all the joy and all of the good feelings that you need, this magnetizes your union into wholeness and they'll be right there. Um, you may experience like healing and feeling really good and oh where your twin flames nowhere in sight that's okay just keep going right keep going and keep um keep striving towards perfection so very good 
Well, I loved this reading. I hope you did too. Don't forget that you can also um, book an introductory coaching session with me. My link is below in the description. Uh, or if you'd like a reading just for you, I've got nine card readings. I also have um, three card readings that I record and send you in a private YouTube link. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.